Good day dear chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video I want to share with you another interesting game played by Robert James Fisher. This game is from 1963 Western Open which took place in Bay City. Fisher's opponent is Norbert Leopoldi and the game is from round 3. In the game Fisher had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to which Leopoldi answered with c5. The good old Sicilian is on the board, c takes d4, knight takes d4, g6, black goes for accelerated dragon. At the moment black is avoiding d7, d6 and later wants to go for d7, d5 in one move, of course if white allows that. But the downside of this is that now by playing c4 white can establish the so called morality bind, something which can be somewhat problematic for black. Instead Fischer chose a more humble continuation starting with knight c3, knight f6, bishop c4 and knight a5 black horse to get rid of white's light squared bishop. Theory recommends castling kingside, this is the main move, queen a5 is also po uh, popular, uh, d6 can be played but in the game we see knight a5 and it seems like that this variation doesn't give black much. Uh, from modern grandmasters, it's Boris Savchenko who has tried uh, this variation several times, but not with much success. Uh, G4, so Fischer is already hurrying to launch a king side attack. At the moment, he is leaving his king in the center and he's going for a direct kill. H6, queen d2, and now how are you going to castle king side? when this pawn is under attack, rook c8, and there followed h5, e5 which is a serious mistake, at this point it was high time to lock up the king side with g5, but in the game we see e5 and soon black's position will collapse, already it's too late for g5 because the knight is not on d4 and the pawn on d6 is hanging, that's why black played g takes h5, g takes h5, bishop e6 and Fischer castled queen's side, rook c6, king b1, a nice prophylactic move of course, uh, this is how white is usually playing when castling queen's side, in this type of positions uh, putting the king on b1 is always a good idea, meanwhile Fischer is consolidating his pieces and is putting further pressure on opponent's king side. At the moment he's sacrificing the uh, pawn on h5, but that doesn't play a huge role. Now Fischer will do his uh, dirty job on the queen side. Already white knights are a menace for black security. Knight a7 can be now a threat and this awkwardly placed rook is going to be the target. Bishop f8 and anyways there followed knight a7. Rook a6, queen d3. Fisher is chasing a black rook all over the board which is soon going to fall victim. Bishop c8 and at this point please pause the video and try to find Fisher's next moves. Ready? Did you manage to win this rook? Well, that's pretty easy. Here we go, knight takes c8. And when it comes to Fisher, I guess uh, coming up with this combination was a very easy task. Yeah, definitely he noticed it very quickly. And then Fisher went for this nice queen takes a6 and then a royal fork followed and Fisher is upper rook, right? Yeah. King c6, black wants to trap the knight, a desperate attempt of course, after, but after rook d5 black resigned, yeah you can't even win that knight, uh, that's why resignation followed. An easy victorious game by Bobby Fischer, Leopoldi failed to play the razor sharp accelerated dragon properly and his position collapsed very quickly. So this is it dear chess lovers, hope that you enjoyed this game, this can be also useful for those who are playing against uh, Accelerated Dragon, feel free to explore this game carefully, especially the line with Knight a5 and in the end 
Let's solve a chess puzzle where the task is to win with the black pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in my next video.